So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening for our host today. Uh, we are very happy to have you with us. This is Oren Schnabel, the general manager of R48 Hotel and Garden in Tel Aviv. And um, yeah, heart is always uh, full a little bit of uh, sadness and happiness. Huh? And uh, we'll all have to do the best. And I think it's wonderful that you can show us and tell us more about your hotel and how the life is uh, today uh, in Tel Aviv. Huh? So Oren, if you would like to start. Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, as Dominique said, my name is Oren. I'm uh, one of the co-founders of uh, Artwem Hospitality Group in Tel Aviv and the uh, GM of uh, this amazing hotel. I will start with a very short video uh, that you can see that the life in Tel Aviv are nice, despite all the events. And then we'll start with the presentation. Enjoy. Thank you, Oren. So we have no music. <laughs> And I know the music is very, very nice, but unfortunately with that system, uh, so. So you can only imagine the vibe behind. Okay, welcome everyone to Tel Aviv. Uh, here it's uh, seven o'clock in the evening. Uh, your time, I think it's in the morning. So mm -hmm. good morning, everyone. Um, uh, R48 Hotel and Garden is a, is a project that we've been working for about or like something like more than 12 years. Okay, something like a decade. We started in 2011, I guess, until we opened this place. It was 12 years, 2023. Um, who we are. Um, most of you, I guess, have been to Tel Aviv and uh, R2M Hospitality Group are uh, one of the biggest, finest and best hospitality group in Tel Aviv. I guess we are, we are the only hospitality group that really a group in this city. And we actually started as restaurant tours as no, and not as hotelier, hoteliers. We are very known for our restaurants. Uh, we have uh, uh, three or four um, uh, old, very old uh, restaurants. In, uh, if you're talking about Tel Aviv, like 30 years establishments. We started in the coffee bar, which is a Italian French bistro. Then we continued to the very famous brasserie in front of Rabin Square, which was, was open for 22 years until COVID. And then we opened 16 years ago Hotel Montefiore, which you can see the, the picture in the left side, which was the first boutique hotel in Tel Aviv. Before that, there was only big chain hotels on the beach. And that was the first small boutique hotel in the city with a very good French Vietnamese restaurant. We have had 16, which is uh, our younger, kicking bar in the south of the city. It's a bar, it's a cafe, it's a, a young restaurant, a lot of uh, music, uh, live, live, co uh, live concerts, open all, all, all day, um, hosting like something like 1,000 guests a day. Um, um, and we have two, uh, two brands, one is bakery, which is small shops of pastries, breads, um, sandwiches, etc. We have something like seven, six or seven branches of bakery in only in Tel Aviv, and we have five or six uh, branches of, of delicatessen, which are the bigger version of bakery. Are big delis like if you remember Din and De Luca fifteen years ago, or something like that. This are vision. This are uh, that was our vision. It's big shops, 200, 300 square, square, meter, square meters each, each one, and you can buy there anything, like food, bread, flowers, homeware, whatever you want, wines, spirits, everything. Uh, actually, one of the first, the first branch of delicatessen is just around the corner of this hotel. So uh, we are a big group. We have twelve hundred employees 
we have a factory in, in the south of the city that we're making everything by ourselves. We're not buying anything from outside suppliers. Uh, and it's really important when we start talking about the hotel, it's the same in the hotel. There's nothing we, we serve in the hotel that we didn't make. We're making everything. We came from food. We came from passion for food and passion to host and to feed people and to give people drinks. This is where we started. And then 16 years ago, we opened our first hotel. I personally opened it with my wife. 16 years ago, she ran it for seven years. And, uh, and it's still one of the best uh, hotels in, in the city. And it's just around the corner of, of our hotel. This is Artwell uh, Hospitality Group. I'm, I'm one of the owners. The big owner is name is Ruti. She's a, she's, today she's famous in Israel as well because she's a chef celebrity in all these master chefs and uh, uh, these shows on TV that we have all over the world. So she, so one of the reasons that people come to our businesses is we are very good, but on the other hand, she is very famous and people come to see her places and to meet her because she's in our business all the time. This is one side of the business of the ownership of our 48 hotel and garden. The other side is our partners, are our partners from Toronto, Canada, Heather Raisman and Jerry Schwartz. I don't know if you heard about them. They are very known uh, in the Jewish community in, in Toronto. They are very big philanthropists to Israel. They have uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, foundation here in Tel Aviv. They donate millions every, every year to, to Israel. And they bought this uh, building uh, 15 years ago. And they decided they, they want to open a hotel. They are not hoteliers whatsoever. She's the owner of Indigo in, in North America, if you heard about it, the big chain of books. And he's, uh, he's the owner of, uh, of uh, Onyx, which is a very big group of, of uh, real estate and all, all these kind of businesses. But they like Tel Aviv, they adore Israel. And they wanted to, to give a present to the city, to do something with this building, which will be admirable for years, which, be, which will stay after them because they're not so young anymore. And they, we joined together. They, they knew Hotel Montefiore, they knew our restaurants and they wanted to do something special. So they decided that they're gonna do, us, do it with us and not with the, one of the famous hotel chains. And that was the start of the story. Uh, 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 we met several times, we flew several times, and we started the journey of oh, down of this building. Uh, if you heard about the Bauhaus heritage in Tel Aviv, the white city of Tel Aviv, uh, uh, the city of Tel Aviv is very famous for, for the Bauhaus building that brought the, the German roads before World War II. And uh, we have several dozens of these kind of buildings in the city. M much of them were renovated in the, for the last 20 or 30 years. And, but that was the building 100 years ago, 90 years ago. Is a, a, it was a resident a residence. People lived there uh, with apartments. And then it was like uh, uh, deserted for many, many years. Uh, it was a dump. Sorry for the world, but it was a dump. And uh, and after a lot of thinking, we started to renovate it in a very very ambitious uh, way. That's the end end of the process. If you see the right picture in the presentation, you see the middle of the process. What we actually did, it, we took the building and we hanged it in the air. Do you see, if you see the uh, a street level, when is the brasserie, I will show you, uh, after you show pictures of the restaurant is open, this floor wasn't exist. It, was, it wasn't exist, the building was hanged in the air and then we created this new floor and we dug another three floors beneath the, the surface for basements, for the gym, for the preparation kitchen, for for parking. So the first challenge was the actual hanging of the building in the air and add more four more floors beneath it. 
And the other process was to add a glass facade in the south side of the building, which extended the building and made it bigger. So we combined the glass facade, facade with the old part of the building and we created a brand new building, which combines uh, old and new, which combines the uh, Bauhaus history with the new concept of uh, living. Now, here in these pictures, you can see the hotel, let's say three months before opening, there's not even curtains here yet. Uh, and this is the side of, of the garden, which we'll speak uh, in a few minutes. You see the garden here in the right. So that was a very uh, long uh, uh, procedure of renovations and permits. Uh, and there were three very important uh, uh, people that were involved, involved in this process. Uh, the first one were Israelis. They are very young Israelis, very young architects. Uh, it was actually one of their first projects uh, in their career, which was very brave from us and from Heather and Jerry to, I don't know, bail, uh, to bet, bet to bet on them. Uh, the, a bit, uh, if you know what is chutzpah in Hebrew, they, uh, or, or, you know, they have a, a lot of courage and they took this uh, building and they made it to something totally different. Uh, it was involved in a lot of a lot of procedures and permits because one of the things, a lot of, a lot of the things they do, they wanted to to do, uh, they were never been done here. Uh, for uh, for example, the big elevator. There's a very very big glass elevator that replaced the original staircase. staircase. Uh, it's a, a glass elevator that uh, was put, uh, was made in Italy in Milano. It took it took two years to make it and another year to 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 put it here and to get the permits for it. And the result is like a really, really, really unique combination between old and new. So the architects are young Israelis. The, inner the interior designs are very worldwide famous. They are uh, Christian Liagel from Paris. Um, uh, and actually Heather brought them because they made her private houses in Toronto, in Malibu, in, uh, uh, well, well, there's another two houses, you know, Sadler, in LA, whatever. Uh, they are one of the three biggest uh, and most important uh, interior design in the world. Christian himself died two years ago, but his daughter continued the business. And they are very, very specific line. It's very classic European, a bit Scandinavian, um, very modern design, which go perfect with the Bauhaus, which is very, you know, the clean lines, everything is, is, is very simple. Uh, uh, so they are the interior design. They did all this hotel, the rooms, the public areas, everything, the furniture, they make the furniture themselves. And one of the biggest challenges in this hotel is how to maintain this building because these are not furnitures that made for hotels. These are furniture that are made for private houses. And, uh, and, and, and the challenge to keep it like this when, you get, when you're hosting guests and normal people, it's, it's, it's not so easy. So the, these are the interior design. They've been in many times, they're amazing people. By the way, if you're familiar with Hotel Cost in Paris, they made the new wing of Hotel Cost. They have, they have a new part uh, in, uh, in their hotel and they did the new part in Hotel Cost. They're not doing a lot of hotels, but that was special pro project for them. The third person that was involved in this project was Pete Odolf. Pete Odolf is, is the famous uh, landscape designer for the High Line in New York, which I guess you, uh, you're all familiar with. He's considered to be the most important garden designer in the world, garden designer, garden architect, garden philosoph, philosoph. He looks like philosoph, by the way. Uh, he's 80 years old or something. He's traveling the world like more than 200 years, uh, uh, 200 days a year. And he made a uh, mission impossible here because uh, the garden 
you see the, uh, the, the, this picture, the garden is, there's not a lot of uh, soil there and there's olive trees there, if you see. It was a very big challenge to, to, to do a garden in a place there's no soil. And of course, the, garden, the, the plants uh, around the pool. So as you see, I'm talking a lot about the process of building this building because it was a long and very uh, expensive and very uh, serious process. It's not a normal place. It's not a normal hotel and it's not a normal, they didn't put normal amount of money in this building. It, it became a life, a life journey for, for especially for Heather and for Ruti in, uh, in our company. And the result is a very intimate, small hotel. Uh, we, 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 we made a lot of effort to find a different world for this place. And we couldn't find a, a better world than hotel. But if you are, because we thought about townhouse, we thought about residence, we thought about um, Maisonet, many, many, many words that can describe this place. So we, in the end, we called it a hotel, but it's a very, very, it's not, it's not, it's, it, on everything you see, it's not a real normal hotel. It's a very intimate, small building with 11 suites, with two great restaurants, with a pool on the roof and a gym downstairs. And we have two kinds of, uh, of uh, suites. We have the studio suites and we have uh, the suites. Um, I'm starting with the suites. Uh, we're talking about uh, um, something like uh, uh, we're talking about uh, square feet. No, we're talking about meters. So imagine uh, something like uh, 900 uh, square feet. Square feet. Something like 900, 1,000 square feet, uh, feet for for a suite. It's a small apartment. Most of them are building are built like a small apartment with separation with a bedroom and a dining room and a living room and huge. Uh, uh, bath area, and you can you can you can see uh, the feel and the and the design in most of the suites. You can host a dinner for ten people with a private chef if you want. Uh, this is a picture of a of a, of a suite which with with the glass facade that's facing the garden. So there's a lot of light, natural light uh, that coming coming inside. Um, this look from the bedroom to the living room. And in the right, it's the entrance to 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 the bath area. Uh, that's another picture that you can see the dining room from the from the bedroom. Uh, uh, this this is the style of the bath of 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 of, uh, of the bath. If you see, you see the bath, you see the mirror, you see the sinks. Everything is like top notch. Uh, of course, our, the soaps are ours. They designed for us. We have perfect. We have special line of of soaps of of uh, all the all the amenities in the shower are ours. The smell in the hotel are, are is ours. Uh, you cannot find it anywhere. It's our forty eight design. Every everything you see here, it's something that made specially for here, uh, including the robes, including the towels, including the sheets, including the mattress, the mattresses. Um, that's why it took so long, by the way. Uh, that's the penthouse, by the way. This uh, this uh, picture. So we have uh, uh, five, five, five suites and one penthouse suite, which is a bit bigger and a big terrace, and it's like in the same level of the pool. So the pool is almost your private pool because it's the only room in the on the pool uh, floor. If we're going uh, uh, to the, to our entry level, which are the studios, you you have to understand our entry level is far is more than four hundred square feet. Uh, uh, we have two two kinds of studios. One is the garden studio, which is you see in this picture. It looks like there's no wall, but it's a glass wall, okay. And uh, uh, it's a it's like this is like a regular hotel room. It's like a bedroom and a big. Uh, uh, Beth area, and and that's the studio, and this is without a, a, a terrace. We have a, a studios with terrace in the old wing, with the, this picture. Is this is a more traditional studio? Behind these doors, you see a terrace to the street, 
to Roche Boulevard or to the other small street we have. Um, that's another picture of the of the studio. Even the studio are big, are big rooms uh, comparing to any other hotel you know, uh, with a big closet uh, and and uh, an amazing mini bar uh, with a lot of uh, amenities. Uh, I can show a lot of pictures, but you can understand the atmosphere. Uh, uh, the public areas, if you see the uh, uh, in the left, up left, this is the bar, In the this is the lobby. It's a small lobby, uh, by the way, with a lot of Israeli art, very famous Israeli art that hand-picked. This is the pool. It's not a very big pool, but it's very, it's amazing uh, rooftop uh, uh, with a bar, with music, the pool is, of course, is heated for the winter time. As these days, is the most popular area in the in the in the hotel, of course, and uh, of course you can sit there, eat there, drink there. You can you can actually live there. Uh, we have a, we have a very nice, a quick gym downstairs in in uh, in minus one. Uh, again, for hotels, very unique gym. There, there's something like a twelve. Uh, how do you call it? 12 uh, okay. machines, 12 walk-up uh, walk machines. Um, and uh, and we have a, a meeting room as well. These are the public areas. Uh, only for hotel guests, by the way, they are not open for outside guests at all. Um, and the 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 main thing in our in our business like always is uh, in food and beverage we have two restaurants in this uh, in this building uh, the first one it's not the first one to be open but the first one is the brasserie uh, we call it brasserie although it's not a french traditional brasserie we were, we already have one french traditional brasserie or we had it until a year ago this more modern modern brasserie, the, the food is not only French, but the combination between French and local and a bit of Italian. It's like the new cuisine all over the world. We have a very, very good, talented uh, chef that uh, works for us for more than a decade. And he, this, this building is his own library uh, and laboratory as well, and is, is, is making amazing food. And this uh, Rothschild 48 Brasserie is actually the hotspot of the city these days. It's the hotspot of the city these, these days. You cannot find a place for two months in advance. Uh, it's a big place. It's more than 100 uh, seats. Uh, I showed, I will show a video after to, to feel the ambience, but it's, 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 it's crowded. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's crowded. Crowded with music, all the celebrities of Tel Aviv are here. All the all all the right and the and the and the beautiful people are here. Uh, it's open for lunch and dinner six days a week. And 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 today, when you are coming to Tel Aviv, you're gonna eat it even if you're not gonna sleep here. Okay, it's one of the three must places to eat in Tel Aviv. Uh, uh, this this uh, day. So if you are our guest, of course you have a place here always, so it's an advantage. Um, that's the brasserie. Uh, we opened it in a very, it, in the best timing I can imagine, in, in, in the middle of September, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but uh, but uh, after a few weeks, we reopened it again, and, uh, and um, it's a great success. Uh, uh, it's great, and the fact that in, it's in the, in the entrance of the hotel, it makes the hotel very vibrant, very alive. It's 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 one of the most. Uh, uh, I don't have another uh, one more, another word than hotspot of Tel Aviv today. So everybody knows this building. Everybody knows this restaurant. It's amazing. The other restaurant is our chef table, which uh, was nominated for a star of Michelin. If you if you don't know, Michelin was supposed to uh, declare about the new city of Tel Aviv. Uh, in the uh, autumn of uh, 23 in October but then came the war and they and everything went uh, for whole but we were a nominate for a star this is a totally the opposite of the brasserie it's in the lobby on, on the lobby floor of the hotel it's very small it's 22 seats 
you're sitting in front of an open kitchen. You can see it in, a, in this picture and you will see it in a video later. It's a 11 courses meal that you, you don't get a menu. You just sit and the food starting to come. And, and in the end, you, 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 you see the menu, very intimate service. You sit in front of the, of, of the chefs. It was fully booked half a year in advance. Uh, uh, and the last service was 6th of October evening, and we didn't reopen it yet. We're planning to open it in in few weeks, but we're planning to open it in few weeks for a few weeks now, so I don't know <laughs> when we're going to open it. It's a matter of employees and chefs. Um, uh, it's an amazing restaurant. That's uh, uh, that, that's the, the same place that uh, you uh, our guests eating breakfast, and, and I show you the breakfast later so ah, if we can talk about the breakfast it's the breakfast of the city today we are opening for it for uh, for for everyone in friday and saturday it's expensive breakfast uh, if you compare it to tel aviv and and it's the breakfast of the town today and uh, people waiting for weeks to get a table here and of course unless you are a guest of the hotel then you don't have to wait for a table. Um, so two restaurants. But then again, after all this, all this building and the effort that we made in 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 the in the building, uh, uh, what we are known for is our service or our, our hospitality and our philosophy of hospitality. And I want you all to imagine a yacht. Imagine a private yacht. This is what we're trying to do in this place. It's a small yacht that's sailing in the ocean. You don't have to go out. You can't go out in a yacht, but here you don't have to go out. You have the best two restaurants in Tel Aviv. You have a beautiful pool. You have a room that you don't want to go out of, of it. And, and we're trying to give, her, give it like amazing, amazing service, very personalized service and hospitality. Uh, I think we can do it because it's not a big hotel. It's a very small place. Your, the rooms are, are, are in the size of a small or a big apartment uh, and we'll bring you whatever you need. Pro, most of your needs we will know in advance. We'll try to know in advance. That's why Helen is here. Hello, Helen. Hi, Helen. Hello. Hello. Hello, reservation manager. Nice to have you with us too. <laughs> and I pr promised her I'm going to embarrass her and show her in, uh, in my in my speech. So, so we're trying to to we're trying to personalize personalize uh, the experience of the guest, and we want to know everything in advance. We want to know what you like to eat. We want to know which kind of milk you're drinking with your coffee. We want, to, of course, we want to know when you are coming because we're going to wait for you downstairs we always wait for you downstairs unless you're not cooperative okay if you're coming with a car we have a valet of course uh, if you're not coming with a car we'll take care of uh, transportation from the airport and then we of course we'll know when you're coming um and we really try to make a custom made uh, custom made service to each of our, our guests we're doing our best to know everything about you in advance and if we're not knowing something about you in advance, we will know it uh, as we get to know you uh, in your, in, while you're staying here. And, and we are really giving a special services that I think not, none, no, no one do today in Tel Aviv. It's starting with a welcome delight. You're getting, a, you welcome a small meal when you're getting into the, into the room on the tables you saw. It's small snacks and fruits and and uh, and uh, and sandwiches and all our pastries from from our bakery. You're getting a very nice uh, welcome delight when you are getting into the room. Everyone in every category, no matter what. Then we are cleaning your rooms, your room at least three times a day. At least three three times a day, we're cleaning your room. We're cleaning your room when while you are in breakfast. We clean, of course, we clean the big cleaning of the room while you are away out of the room when you're going to the beach or whatever. Then we cleaning your room while you are in dinner. And then 
we make we doing a, a, a turn down as well turn down service and uh, so you can sleep well um of course we have a valet parking we have a personal concierge where you get a seat in every restaurant in this city no is not an option yes we can this is the philosophy we'll do everything um uh of course, after turn down, you have a nightcap in your room. Okay, always each evening you have a nightcap, different liquor every night. This depends how many nights you are you are with us, but different liquor every night with a different chocolate every night. Um, and and in the room there's tons of amenities like the mini bar is uh, is is packed with chocolates and with biscuits. And with uh, things, the only things that we're doing ourselves, by the way, and of course with wine, champagne, uh, our our own cocktails that we bottle ourselves. Um, what else? No. Ah, of course, of course, uh, 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 spa treatments in the in the room. We're gonna have a small spa downstairs uh, in few months. We are building it now, but now uh, all the treatments are do, are being. In, in rooms or near the pool, depends where, what, what you want. And inside the room, we have, we have in, in, the, in, in the bath area, we have shaving kit, hair kit, so, uh, swing kit, dental kit, beach bag. Actually, you don't have to bring with you anything. Anything. Uh, and, uh, and if you forgot to bring your things, we, we'll, we'll provide everything uh, you need. So we, the, the, the philosophy is, is I, I go back to the yacht. And when, when we planned this place, we, we took a yacht cruise with Heather and Jerry to Canada, our partners, for a week we, on, on their yacht. And, and we decided that this, this, this needs to be the, the service in this place. Like it's, it's like a personal butler without you seeing the butler. Okay? Because it's not really... It's not really modern to see a butler standing near your room like this and waiting for orders. So we're not doing it. We are in Israel. We are in Tel Aviv. It's 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 uh, it's it's much uh, more. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, it's invisible service. It's a very cool place. It's not old-fashioned place, but we're trying to do miracles with our hospitality, and, and this is the biggest challenge in a, in hotel because you know to build a nice building, it's one challenge, but then to okay. try to give an amazing service, it's another it's another thing. Thank you. Very what else we can say about this place? Um, is that the love video? Okay. The video. Uh, I think before I show the video, I want to say a few more things. This place is small enough and intimate enough to to take it all as a buyout for small events like family bar mitzvah, family weddings, um, small uh, company events, which doesn't need tons of rooms, only 11 suites with, with a, personal di a personalized dinner downstairs or cocktail party. We're doing very high level uh, weddings every once in a while and uh, very, very high level occasions because it's, it's, it's perfect for that. Uh, the, the, the place is perfect for that. The location is perfect for that. We didn't speak about the location, by the way. Dominic, do you want me to speak about the location? Yes, please. Because that's certainly going to be one of the... I spoke like, I don't know how many minutes, so you can you need to yeah, stop. We're already, we're already at the end, so... <laughs> so uh, uh, Rothschild Boulevard is the most famous boulevard in Tel Aviv. It's, it, it's connect, it, it connects the beach uh, into Habima Theater, it's the it's the very center of the white city. It's the very center of of of, of traditional Tel Aviv. This is the place the tourists go, as, uh, except of the beach. And this is Tel Aviv of Tel Avivians. If you know Tel Aviv, you, I guess most of my audience are uh, knows familiar with Tel Aviv, and maybe most of them familiar with with the old fashioned hotel, hotel industry of Tel Aviv, which was on the sea, on the beach, on Ayarcon Street. On, uh, on the permit. But for us Tel Avivians, this is not Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv is, uh, is, is Abima, is Rothschild, is Schenkin, is, is, the, is the old city, is the white city. And 
and uh, Rochet 48 is in is in the middle of all things. It's very near to the to the new uh, tube, the new uh, tube line. If you know, we have tube in Tel Aviv after 100 years, <laughs> one line. But this one line is is the 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 main station is a is a block from here. And of course, the National Theater, uh, uh, everything is a five minutes walk from here. The beach is 10 minutes walk, like maybe 15. And uh, so it, it's in the center of everything. That's about the location. So you want to show us the videos? Uh, I will show you uh, some videos. Imagine you hearing a very, <laughs> I don't know, a spa music or something like that, OK? Uh, <laughs> me and Dominic, we tried a lot to make uh, music uh, hearable, but we couldn't. So, so this is the first one. This is the elevator, the pool. What I like about the pool is you're surrounded by all the trees from the street as well. So it yeah. looks like the, you have a huge garden. Huh? You're surrounded by greens. You see the trees, you see the trees of the boulevard? I can show it again if you want. I can show it again. I will. I will move to the video of a suite. Mm -hmm. You can see the curtain open. Mm -hmm. I talked about the art. The hotel is full with Israeli art, original, of course. Oh, it's beautiful and different. I mean, I had the chance to be there in the December 2022. It's the, and the... It's the nightcap, by the way. Oh, what did you say, Dominic? Uh, you said something. Oh, no, no. I was saying I had the chance to be there December 2022. So uh, I can tell you the hotel, the vibe with its window glasses. It's, uh, I don't know, it's different. There's a little sexiness to it. And uh, really you need to come again because now when you've been here, I think we were like in a soft opening, but we, we it was like now it's really no, it's the almost really... the, sorry, the restaurant was not yet open when I was there, so I didn't. Yeah, yeah. So I will show you now. Now it's a video of the chef's table. This is the garden, and this. Uh, Uh, you have really created a little jewel, huh? It's yeah. uh, everything. You have everything. There's the garden, the pool, the dining, the vibe, the largest room, I think, in Tel Aviv. Of, uh, I mean, everybody maybe has regular room. Your regular room at 400 square feet is already beyond everyone's size. Huh? Yeah, I, I tell you, really, I think you can see it on my on my face. We are really proud of this place. This okay. is a very... This is a very unique place. I think it's a very unique place, not only in Tel Aviv. It's it's unique place worldwide. There's I don't know many places like this in the world. Uh, uh, um, and we just need that the situation will finish so everybody will know this place. And this is the uh, this is the the last video which uh, shows the brasserie, which while we speak now it's packed with people upstairs. We're sitting downstairs now. Ah, no, we're sitting near the pool. No, <laughs> yes, we're sitting, yeah, near, we are the... sitting near the pool. <laughs> we're looking at the garden by the reception. <laughs> we will meet together at the brasserie after, after we finish the webinar. This is the glass elevator. For us, it's almost lunch time, so it's perfect. Makes us yeah, so come. I yeah. see you in the lobby. You know, I know it's I'm a... in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Did, did I forget something? Or we wait for uh, for questions? Yeah, if you want to just uh, unshare the the screen so we can see you. Uh, ah, stop I stop sharing. If you want? Stop share. Voilà. So then we can ah. have TV with us. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. A very, very detailed presentation. I see a few questions. Uh, Céline is asking if the hotel catering is all kosher. No. Uh -huh. uh, the simple answer is no. We have a complicated answer. In the chef's table, if you are making a reservation for the chef's table, we have a kosher style menu, which is not kosher, 
but uh, in I didn't say that, but in the, in the chef's menu, in chef restaurant, we 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 provide a vegan option, uh, 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 gluten free option, uh, and kosher style option, which means we won't serve you a. Uh, bacon, we went and won't serve you shrimps or whatever, but it's not a kosher place. We open on Friday, we open on Saturday, and uh, it's not kosher. Mm -hmm. Of and course, we could buy kosher food if someone else, someone wants, we can provide kosher food from, from, from outside. And especially maybe if you're doing a buyout, then actually everything is off limit, the restaurants as well, no? What do you do in the for a buyout? No, if we're doing, first of all, we we exist only one in a year, one and a half year. We didn't do it a lot. We did it. Yes, yes. yes. And but then, you do and a then clients can all ask for kosher meal for everyone. So if if someone will ask for kosher meal, we'll provide kosher meal. Yes, well, exactly. Huh? We can do it. Okay, so we can do it. We have, we have, because we are, uh, uh, we have more restaurants and we have a factory. And yes. We have, we are, we are, so we can make everything we want. Like we were, the hotel specific is not kosher, but if someone wants kosher food, kosher, they can have it. kosher food. Perfect. Uh, Celine, you were asking, what are the, the resort taxes? Are also, are all the tourists coming in supposed to pay the tax or is there any exemption? That's, I don't know. No, it's no, it, there's no VAT for, uh, for tourists or for uh, foreigner, uh, uh, for foreigners. Uh, only for Israelis. So there's no additional taxes to the price, to the quoted prices. Mm -hmm. uh, Celine still asking uh, if there is a, the, what is the Israeli feeling the clients can get from the hotel? Because she said it's a lot European uh, hotel, like you said. Uh, any similar? Okay, first of all, I, 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 didn't, I didn't prepare an answer for that, but it's very easy. <laughs> you cannot fake it. We are Israelis. Okay? I'm Israeli. <laughs> my employees are Israelis. My the waiters are Israelis. The bartenders are Israelis. The chefs are Israelis. And 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 if you know Israelis, we are the most professional Israelis you will ever meet. But we are Israelis, so it's it's uh, we we it's a warm hospitality. It's the place is very clean and very European and classic. Mm -hmm. But we are Israelis, mm -hmm. and you can notice it in every in every in every in every corner. Uh, by our, our hospitality. And by the way, by our food. The food in the brasserie is very local. It's yeah. very, very local. Uh, our chef insists. And, and, and again, what about the, the location? And the location is, listen, you're going out of the street. Yeah. You, whether you like it or not, you're in Tel Aviv. Yes, and, and then the, the fact that you are uh, already so famous in the city, you're the place to be at night. So you have local yeah. people coming, yeah? Uh, yeah. Uh, your staff, international staff, what languages are spoken in general? Languages. 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 Uh, uh, English, French, uh, Russian. Mm -hmm. English, French, Russian. We have someone that speaks... Spanish, Swedish, Italian, Swedish. Swedish. Oh. <laughs> Italian. Italian. Italian, Italian, yeah. But uh, if you're asking about uh, uh, common languages, it's a uh, Hebrew and uh, it's English and French, huh? in Russian, in Russian. Mm -hmm. uh, Jean Pierre wants to know: Are you running any special program to lure first-time user to your hotel? Because you're not yet virtuoso, but I think we are in the process of getting of uh, being virtuoso. Mm -hmm. Uh, please share any special event of season, if indeed relevant. Do you have any special, or we can send it after in the follow-up, Jean-Pierre? You will be receiving the recording if there is any uh, thing uh, you want to send, uh, Oren and Hélène. Huh? I don't know. We don't. No, meaning special offer or special. You have the amenities when people are booking through us, Jean-Pierre. We always have Dominique de Bay amenities to replace uh, the virtuoso amenities or signature amenities. Uh, and as I said, we are in the process of getting our 48 into this affiliation. No? Um, hello. Uh, Céline wants to know who are the clients now, since you mentioned the situation in Israel is a bit different now. Okay. Um, the clients are uh, uh, 
as such. Uh, uh, first of all, we have uh, domestic tourism, not a lot, but we have uh, uh, we have Israelis. Everybody is celebrating. You know, uh, despite the situation, you still celebrating when you are forty or you are fifty or you have a wedding. I don't know, silver wedding, or when you're getting married. So people uh, are are celebrating their events, and this this became one of the one of the places to do it. Okay, if you are if you if you are uh, if if you have enough money, the uh, that's the place to take a room or to take a room with dinner, uh, and this this one kind of our clientele. Second, uh, 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 people from abroad uh, uh, coming to to Tel Aviv. They're not coming to Tel Aviv like if they used to come. There's not a mass tourism to Israel, of course, but business people are, are coming and people with families in Israel are coming. And the regulars that, come, that came to Tel Aviv for the last 20 years, they came back. They came back. It took them a, a few months, but, but then they came back because they know Israel. Uh, Till now, they know that it's not the first time. It's it's a tragic event. It's the it's a very big thing. It's it's not comparable for everything we we experienced for the last thirty years or since even from the beginning of this of this country. But then again, uh, the people that uh, have connections to Israel, they came back, and they and they are one of our uh, the, the, our guests. Of course, we need more because there's no there's no tourism in Tel Aviv in Israel these days. So so the people that are coming are not tourists. Most of them are not tourists. They are or either a business or family. Visiting family, huh? we see that. Of course, there was a lot of support visits to Israel for the last for, for the last year. People came with to support the South, to support the state of Israel, to donate money. To you know that you you know, so so, and they needed hotels to stay in. So we by the way we did we didn't close even for one day. This place kept kept open all the time. Ami, Ami wants to know, she said, amazing property. Thank you. One question. Can you do a meet and greet at Ben Gurion? Ben Gurion, for those who want it. Yeah, of course. All right. Uh, Lorena, hello. What are the average rates or starting rates? Okay. Uh, our starting rates is uh, uh, today, like, of course, we are in a special rate now. Uh, we need to understand, like everyone, uh, uh, not now, we're a special rate for it's unbelievable. It's almost a year. Uh, it's going to be a year in October. So, uh, uh, but we we're selling our studios uh, starting at nine hundred dollars US dollars. If you remember the presentation a year and a half ago, you can rem remember the difference. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, actually, it's a hotel that needs to charge more. But today, uh, it's a it's a good opportunity, by the way, to stay here because the rates are considerably low. Okay, so it's starting with 900 uh, US dollars and the, and the suites is uh, more than $2,000, 2,800 for the penthouse. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, but the, the, average, the average rate today is between 900 and 1,500 uh, $1, dollars. This is for, for this rate for today. High season, uh, imagine 1,100 dollars for the students and uh, up to 3000 for the suites except the penthouse which is expensive it's 4000 uh, dollars but this is not the rate this is not the current rates today the yes. rates today are are, are much more approachable uh -huh. well, for anyone you know the way to book you send us your email we connect with the team and then um, we we'll get our best uh, rates and amenities huh? alan you're asking there is a new electronic visa requirement starting august 1st for all foreigners, including USA. It is not expensive, but necessary in advance. So, it's, it's something you register online. Yeah. I guess Alan wanted just to share this information with us. Ah, okay. Well, uh, Philip, Philip wants to know, do all suites have one large bed or do some of uh, twin beds? No, okay. unfortunately, we don't have uh, twin beds. We have only king size beds. Only king size bed. Uh, uh, even yeah, it's more than it's two. Yes. It's two, two, two meters. Two meters. Two meters two wide. Two meters. Huh? It's wow. a very big bed. Uh, we have no separate beds. Uh, uh, the block you can see. In in the suites, if necessary, 
uh, uh, we can negotiate sleeping on the on the on the sofa in the in the in the living room if you have if you have a well behaved child. <laughs> So it's not it's not it's not an adults only establishment, but it's adult oriented establishment. So if you want to come, uh, it's not a family hotel. Let's uh, let's be honest. But if but we hosted families, yes, we hosted families. Uh, we need to, to to talk before and we find the solutions. Mm -hmm. Jennifer had to leave us. She said beautiful property. She cannot wait to come and see it, and she had to go. Uh, Jean-Pierre, good to know. Send us the details. So we're going to send the details of the rates and everything. Uh, hot spot, said Céline. That is very true. Voilà. Lorena, thank you. Uh, how does meal plan work in general? Or do you have a special package? No, uh, it's... it's uh, uh, it, the breakfast is included, of course. Yeah. Uh, breakfast is included. Uh, welcome amenity is included. Night cup is included. Uh, the only thing that is not included is uh, is dinner. Uh, yes. no, there's no lunch or dinner, but there's breakfast, of course. But you don't offer a meal plan for people who wants to have all their because usually not everyone is taking all their meals at the hotel. I mean, uh, you're in Tel Aviv. There, or do you offer meal plans if they want to? Meaning yes. clients who wants to have lunch and dinner at the hotel. It's a location. Yeah, you could. You can could. offer. Yeah. Yeah. of course we offer. Yeah. Oh, no. We we didn't actually actually uh, we didn't have a demand for that till yeah, now. Yeah. You really see our hotel is sitting in, you know, we, there's something like fifty restaurants in a, in in. in That's booking. what I was saying. So, yeah, if so you have no, the best, uh, no. but you know, if you if best, someone will want it, yeah. if someone will, we can offer it. Uh, I told you from the beginning. I think I told it in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Our purpose that if you're coming for two nights. You're not going out of the hotel at all. You don't want to go out of the hotel. So then maybe but if, if you're coming for more than two nights, I, I guess you will go out. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Aaron is mentioning that the villa has been delayed to January and the visa, the August 1st visa. Okay. Huh? Okay. Voilà. Uh, Catherine wants a beautiful property. Thank you for your time and information. Can't wait to get back to Israel and some clients as well. Thank you very much, Catherine, for joining us. Uh, Céline is saying that she thinks Israeli passport holders do not need that visa. Voilà. Uh, no yeah. Then you need to pay VAT. Yes. Really? If Israelis. They need to pay the VAT. Hmm? Yes. Voilà. Yeah, Céline, you said always double, but you know, single occupancy, double occupancy, and then exceptionally adding a, a bed in the, using the living room for a third partner. Uh, yeah, and, uh, another thing, another thing, uh, Dominic, we need to say that if you need, if you need, if you are a family or you need more than one room, this place, because it's built like a house, even though there's not co connected rooms, when you're going out of the room oh, to the okay. next, you are actually uh, walking in a, in a, I don't know, in a living room. The, 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 the corridors in this hotel are not corridors. It's like a living room in a house. I know. So you have, you have so a you're going out. If you're coming with your two uh, children, like let's say they're big, big, chil big children, and, and the parents are in one room and the children are in this next room, it's to like, go to each room, it's like, it's like in your house. It's like a corridor, a corridor. Yeah. With I totally agree. I never seen a corridor. As I told you in my own presentation, I put your corridor and I call it corridor. You have a <laughs> table with chair, you have a sofa. I guess sometimes if you don't want to stay in your studio, or you might as well be in your own corridor. It's really beautiful. Alors, uh, Ami Todaroba, hope to visit one day soon. I have a lot of um, I have a lot of family in Tel Aviv, so we'll let you know uh, when I'm back to visit. Uh, Vivian, I look forward to receiving rates and further detail. Thank you for a great detailed webinar. Julian, she said, beautiful, thank you. Uh, Céline said, Oren, you're awesome. <laughs> you, you see how much I, I love taxis. Uh, Vivian, I look forward to visiting in January 2025. And Sharon, looking forward to visiting. Well, I think that we are finished with the question. I don't see any more. Uh, Oren and uh, Ellen, thank you very much for your time. I think that was a very nice presentation and again, very detailed. Great to know a little more about the ownership and how great 
you've been doing before, actually. Yeah? This is, uh... so I see Odette. Thank you for the presentation. Beautiful hotel. Voilà. Uh, Mara Ogena, amazing, amazing hotel, Maria Ogena. Thank you very much. Voilà. Let us know when it will be our pleasure. Shalom, our best to all. Oren, you're invited to come to Montreal. <laughs> ah. Hello? Huh? Far away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come with me. I'll go there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think that's it, everyone. Thank you again for your time and for joining us. And, Thank you. Uh, I think you can try, you can start to replan your plans for Tel Aviv. The, the, he, Tel Aviv is, is amazing. There's nothing happening here, actually. And yes. this situation in, the, in this country will finish soon. And uh, and you all need to come back here because yeah. it's great here. We had already many requests uh, from advisors coming to uh, uh, to to Tel Aviv uh, since uh, last October. So uh, uh, and everyone who have seen your hotel said, "Wow!" Uh, <laughs> I heard even Thank you very much. even I heard beyond expectation. That was a phrase. Huh? So, Thank you. Very much. We're very happy to work with you. What did you say, my dear? We're very lucky to work with you. Oh, and I'm lucky you choose me. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. See bye you bye. soon for another webinar. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye.